Hello, thank you everybody for attending this talk. Uh, my name is Stitch uh, Elger Jonker. I'm from the Netherlands, as you might have spotted. And if you think your heart, well, this is terrible wearing this on stage. So, um, I have a small presentation, uh, a really short presentation about uh, fail map or file card. It's a Dutch translation. Um, and I hope you can see it on the projector. Uh, you see a map of the Netherlands, which is grayed out. And we're going to color that map today. So my question was, uh, with our, within our government, is information security taken seriously? Um, and instead of doing a really short-sighted investigation and then shout and have some short media attention, I thought, we should answer the question with some facts, some numbers. And that's what I did. So I, uh, uh, with, a couple, with a couple of friends, uh, we made this nice proof of concept. So we took the local Dutch governments, municipalities, we create a map, find subdomains of this municipality, and then do a simple TLS and SSL scan on them and color the map. If you, if you announce that at the right moment, you might have an impact. And this is what happened. So, the colored map was presented uh, on a conference with only security officers of municipalities. And that's fun. You have 200 people there that instantly are terrified. That's good. <laughs> um, so, on March 19th this year, uh, you see the map on the left with the nice red areas. Uh, three days later, the map was much, much more green. In fact, we solved oh, about 150 security issues just over the weekend by announcing it. And that's fun. Um, we coded this like in a few days and we, um, yeah, it was by accident that we Get, got the opportunity to talk uh, to those people. So um, Today, only 1% of the secure connections is terrible. It used to be 8%, and the amount of domains is steadily growing. Um, and it continues to lower, so that's good. Now, this works, excellent, hooray, but we can do a, a little bit more. Um, so why did this work then? First off, it's somewhat negative. It's fail map. You fail if you're red on the map. And there are so many other municipalities that are green. And you don't want to be the one that stands out. So you want to put in some effort and type in app get upgrade. Um, uh, it's continuous and it's not voluntarily. So I, we, we are basically forcing security scans upon the municipalities, whether they like it or not. Some got angry, some loved it, so we will stick with the ones that love it, and uh, they are the, the role models. Um, and we also got the security office like broadcasting, like, oh no, we're having, an, having another media accident, and we will have to work till four in the morning, and some of, us did, some of them did, so yes. <laughs> Um, so, the next thing is the world. We have a small country, the Netherlands, but there's so much more crap out there, and we can all solve this. Um, uh, the plan is to do any government, anywhere, with any legal test. Especially the any legal test is highly dubious, but we will figure out a way that uh, everybody will benefit from this plan. Um, so. What we did is uh, start a new foundation. It was called the uh, Internet Cleanup Foundation. Uh, it was started the day before the scam started. So that was nice and, and nice scheduling. We've got a team of eight volunteers for the Netherlands to uh, run this site and to make it faster, uh, to, uh, because it's terribly slow right now, but uh, to make it faster, to make sure that in the end, every one, uh, even your, uh, uh, your computer inept person can just run these checks by themselves and verify on their own that the government is doing a good job or not. 
So uh, we got some funds for it. So we basically have a project for one year. So we have some continuity, which is awesome, because this, this took about 40 hours of work each week while having a full-time job and it will kill you. So we now have uh, uh, some funds to make this our job. It's fun. So it's actually the government paying us to troll the government. Good. <laughs> So our goals are uh, to, in the Netherlands, have 6,000 security failures fixed in this year. Um, in Europe, uh, well, 60,000. 60, and in England and the rest of the world, 600,000. So um, that will be a lot of work. And it will be a lot of fun because we automate everything. Um, so. What, do, what does this project deliver? Well, the thousands of security improvements, a uh, source code repository, which is already there. You can already, already uh, git clone the project. Um, it, the instructions for running your own will be there. Uh, there will be a foundation that has unlimited Google Ads, so yay. Um, and large sets with data. So all scans we do will be published and you can use it for your own do some data mining on it. Um, so the non-tangibles are that the government can be trusted a little bit, a very tiny little bit more, in doing their jobs properly. So hooray. Um, it's also an enabler, an enabler, enabler for the security business, because if the governments think this is important, some businesses might also think this is important. And they are also trained to handle security incidents. So if we find something that is actually terrible, we will not disclose it. We will do the standard responsible disclosure known by many. And uh, yeah, well, uh, they can learn to handle that. It will be fun. More work till four in, in the morning. So our next steps, um, we are setting up a team. Uh, we have a foundation now. We set up a team that has meetings every two weeks, so it's pretty boring stuff, but we, yeah, it's like you need to get an engine running. And uh, we need to see what's the optimum way to spend our funds. Um, and well, we, will, we want to migrate to OpenStreetMaps because we hacked something in, in just a few hours that looks like a map of the Netherlands, but really isn't. And uh, we have to add more checks, so not only for TLS, but also for uh, uh, DNSSEC and for uh, DKIM and uh, uh, SPF and all the other stuff, insecure cookies and, and you name it, everything you can uh, scan in like half a second with, with zero knowledge, we, we are going to automate. So um, the conclusion was this actually works and we need it. And I only have a, a simple question is, hello England, where is your precious information stored? <laughs> we need to know because we need to know what to scan. And that's an honest question. And I would like to uh, ask you, where is your personally identifiable information stored? What companies? Um, and would you be willing to help this project and the rollout to England? So that's an honest question. No? Gov.uk. <laughs> Gov oh, it has everything? <laughs> so, I, if you want to be. I hear a lot of, uh, of remarks. Isn't it so that in England the personal information is stored with companies and you can. Like a digital vault or something here? Uh, we have Equifax, which has got all of our financial details, everything tied to everyone, and they're in Scotland. There's three of these companies. Um, I can't remember the call credit and something. Experian. And they have information on every single person. Everything. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, there's another question. There's quite a large cached copy in the big room in Cheltenham. <laughs> okay. Of everything. 
of everything. <laughs> it's in a sort of donut-shaped building called oh, GCHQ. Yeah, I know, I know that building, yeah. I've seen it. Anybody else? I think we've given up all our secrets. There's a question. I'm just trying to find uh, the relevant legal clause. I can't provide any information because I'm a foreigner and in the light of Brexit, I'm getting deported anytime soon. Um, so basically, all your browsing data, if I recall correctly, is stored in your internet provider for a year and it's uh, accessible by the uh, law enforcement in any case. So, so we should check that nobody so there are regulations that already exist we're not here to bend them but uh we can at least verify that there is no obvious leak in those providers so that that the government get the data but nobody else well i don't know what that means but <laughs> i cannot hear you sorry there's a mic on the way um, the decision lies with the government, or they don't, we don't know yet because, as I said, it's stored on your internet provider, which is a private company. So we don't know how safe is our browsing history at the end of the day. So they might one day sell it to, let's say, a big corporation which sells sandwiches. And because I googled eggs yesterday, some, you know, my mailbox gets, uh, you know, crammed with sandwich advertisements, we don't know, we, and this well, question remains unanswered. Well, I hope we can get an answer for that, so thanks. Uh, well, that's basically uh, basically our talk. Oh, oh. Yeah, a couple of other places where they store those would be Companies House, the Land Registry and the Charities Commission, which store information on well, those things. <laughs> it didn't really... It didn't, I didn't really get the question, but I will listen. I will talk to you later, please. So, um, so if anyone wants to waste some time and uh, scare the shit out of people and make them really nervous, you're more than welcome to join. It's it's pretty much fun, and uh, yeah, since everybody is going with responsible disclosures, there's a lot of room these days to actually hack things. So, hooray! Thank you very much for attending, and see you on the site.